Hi, this is Melanie Dawn, and this is Dawn of Wisdom. Today I want to talk about truth. I want to talk about the truth that we tell ourselves, the truth that others tell us, the bullshit and all lies that we tell ourselves and the bullshit and lies that others tell us. When um, someone we care about says something, something to us and it triggers us, we do need to stop, take a deep breath, and ask ourselves why, where is that coming from. Uh, the person that's telling you may be upset and angry and that's theirs to deal with. I won't take that on, but I am going to ask myself why that triggered me. And that's when you uh, ask yourself the truth, the facts. What is true about that? What is factual about that? Why would that person see me in that way or, or say what they did? And when we start doing that, it's called awareness. And also what we say to others. We need to um, be careful what we say to others. When I speak to others the truth, I, I don't do it unless I feel calm. Uh, then I do. And however that person takes it, then they have to worry about their shit. But I wait until I'm calm. I wait until I kind of figured it out. I give myself a day or two. And then I'll talk to that person or I'll say something. But I believe in truth. I believe in truth and facts and you know, that, that's where the adult chair comes in. Uh, as an adult, I ask myself why. I explore it. I don't ignore it. And, um, and you learn what you bring in, what, what you take in, uh, and what you do not take in. If somebody is approaching you down the street and t- they say your shirt is ugly, you know, that's their shit. And you don't take that in. You don't even keep it. You don't get angry. You don't get defensive. You don't defend your shirt uh, you, you just let it go and when those thoughts come into our heads that are negative and nasty and not true uh, you have to have an awareness of that shit and where that comes from and and turn it around and that is a learned a learned feeling and learned emotion uh, you learn how to live in truth and live an authentic authentic life a guy was walking towards me yesterday on this little path and I had nowhere to go and then his dog and him and his dog and they were taking up the whole path walking towards me that happens to be a pet peeve of mine when I'm walking and people don't move over I uh it goes back to feel like I'm not being seen and you know I can identify that but as he's walking for me I just stopped because there was really no place for me to go and he walked by and looked at me and he said what the fuck is your problem and I had to think about it. Uh-huh. Well, I said my problem is that was rude and you should have moved over. And he just walked on. But the fact was that it was my problem because I allowed it to affect me the way it did. I walked away going, what an asshole. That was not very nice. And that's probably true. He was probably being an asshole. But it bothered me and I needed to figure out why it bothered me. So I explored it, and of course it goes back to, you know, you feel like you're not seen. So I think my wisdom for today for you guys is um, if somebody says something to you and you feel angry, uh, don't, don't, don't say anything back. Stop, take a deep breath, ask yourself why you're saying it. If you feel it needs to be said and the person doesn't receive it, then that's something you, you have to be willing to walk away from. I. Um, I try to only speak if it's true, if it's fact. I want, I want to be kind. I want to be a better person. And I think that's what we all want, right? All right. Nurse Mellow on Instagram and nurse.mellow on uh, yahoo.com and nurse Mellow now back on Facebook. Okay.